everyone. I know it's been a very long time. I hope everybody is safe and well in lockdown. First of all, I'm going to say that this is not my normal camera lens because mine's broken. By that, I mean I broke it. I dropped it. So my dad has kindly lent me one of his lenses but it doesn't have autofocus, so in order to focus it on where I'm sitting, I've had to use this pink bag as a kind of thing to sit here until I moved here. If it goes a bit out of focus, there's nothing I can do. Okay, I'm sorry. This video is just a bit of fun. Um, I put up a question on my Instagram uh, last week, just saying, can people ask me their weirdest, wackiest, craziest questions? So I have picked my favorites out of an excellent selection, and I'm just going to answer them, and if I don't know the answers, I'm going to Google it, but I'm going to have a guess first. So, let's kick off. Would you rather fight five duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? A horse-sized duck is one of the most terrifying things I can possibly imagine, so definitely the small duck-sized horses. Definitely. Will a boy ever be able to swim as fast as a shark? No, but a girl can. <laughs> Bit of a classic one here, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Neither, the cat. That's what I'm saying. The cat came first, okay? Great, what's next? What are your top three dishes? Now, does that mean to eat or to make? I'm gonna say macaroni and cheese, fish pie, a Thai green curry. That's what I'm, I've, I've said it now, okay? It's out there, it's in the ether. Those are my favourites. Ow. Oh, trapped a nerve in my back and it really hurts. Oh, this is quite a good one. If you could go back to one day in time, it doesn't have to be in your lifetime, when would you go back to? I kind of want to go back to when the dinosaurs were around. Only for a brief moment, because I feel like I would die very quickly. But I just want to see one, you know? I want to touch it and then if I could go because I will get eaten. On to a bit of a crazy one now. Would you prefer chocolate fingers for fingers or strawberry laces for hair? See, I love a chocolate finger, <laughs> giggly, but I think I'd rather have the laces for hair because you could then occasionally eat one and it wouldn't be too noticeable. Whereas you eat a finger, you're gonna see that. Okay, we've got one of the ones that I'm gonna have to Google now. How many individual strands of fur does a cat have? I'm going to guess 75,000. Let's go Google. The average cat has 130,000 strands of hair. I'm actually quite close. Wait, per square inch. Oh, if you multiply that figure, okay, this is very complicated, but what I'm seeing is it says that you come to the figure of 30 million. 30 million strands of hair on a cat. Are you joking? Bloody hell. Right, well, there we go. I was quite off. What are my secret skills? Mmm. I can do a really good share impression and also Dido, which I think I've mentioned in another video. I have just had a major deja vu of going, and also Dido. I've said that before. When have I said that? And I won't put my hands up and surrender. Yeah. What is my pet peeve? How long can this video go on for? Have you ever have you ever had a crush on an animated character? A hundred percent, hundred percent. If you haven't, there's something wrong with you. And my particular crush is uh, Robin Hood, uh, the fox from the Disney film. He is fit. Oh, I like this one. Try and pronounce the famous Welsh train station. And very kindly, it has been it's been written out for me to pronounce. Lanfair Pulgwin That's four L's in a row. Antisi I feel like that's probably nailed it. Righty ho. Only a few more left. Right, how much did the Chewbacca costume weigh? Ooh. I mean it's a pretty hefty costume, isn't it? I'm guessing two stone. Five stone. No, couldn't be five stone. Four stone. Four stone. I'm guessing four stone. How heavy was the biggest baby ever born? Not the, not the answer I'm looking for. 0 0.5 stone. That's nothing. That's like my arm. Okie dokie. Do you know the way to San Jose? I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> no, I don't. What would people hear if they read your mind? Depends who's listening. 
If feet smell and noses run, what do ears do? Wiggle. I don't think I'm doing it. Am I doing it? I can feel it. What is the weirdest thing you have baked that you thought wouldn't work, but really did? Um, I don't tend to make crazy things in baking. I made a giant boost cake once, which was like a giant boost bar, the chocolate bar. Didn't think that would work. I, I wouldn't say it really did, I'd say it kind of did. As in, it was edible. We have one final question, and it is my favourite question. <laughs> is your cello bow as long as your arm or your leg? And prove it. Bear with. Okay. Cello. Bow. That's quite scary. Bang on. Bang on. How is it also the same length as my- Why are my arms the same length as my leg? I don't think that's normal. Right, that's- That's a weird bow, clearly. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my questions. So thank you very much to anybody who asked one. I hope that I have rambled my way through them vaguely amusingly. I hope you're all staying safe and well in lockdown, as I've said at the beginning of this video. But why not repeat myself? It's fun. And hopefully I'm going to do some more videos because I am brewing some ideas in my mind palace. I will hopefully see you again soon. But until I do, stay safe and well for the third time. <laughs>